It's Saturday, the biggest day of the Windsor Horse Show. And Prince Philip is starting his eight-hour shift at the water obstacle. You're judging at the water jump. Well, no, look at the water jump. It's time not keeping, that. Yeah. You're timekeeping. So, is that a particularly... Judging from your own well, of course. I mean, they only have real, really genius people have to you know, be silly. You just press the stopwatch. It's not, it's, <laughs> it's not rocket science. Prince Philip times George Bowman Jr. at 68.22 seconds. Next up is Karen Bassett. I was astonished at Karen Bassett. She's got one horse, the wheel horse, on the left, which she's only had a week. And I thought that was quite brave, coming with one that you've only had in She's, she's lord herself. <laughs> 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 she's an amazing girl. I, I took her around one of the very first Windsor Park Club events up at Smith's Lawn when she was about 16, I think. She's a very remarkable driver. Yeah. She really yeah. is. But with a new horse in her team, things don't go quite according to plan. In an attempt to make up time, Karen takes a shorter but wetter route back. But it still takes her 89 seconds. She said she went to the water last time to, to get out. <laughs> so everybody's sort of waiting for her to come up here. No, I'm going to the water now. Whew, that was nerve wracking though, wasn't it? Crikey. Amazing, and got a bit stuck in the middle. It, your heart's in your mouth, isn't it? Especially when you know them. Ah! Wonderful. So spectacular. Pippa is quicker than her sister Karen through this obstacle. The leaders were a bit cocky at times. Yeah, mine, mine just took off. I nearly left Hazard 1 after Gate B. It just oh took God, off. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's one of my best. Never mind. That's how it goes. So who's going to beat who? No, I'll let her. <laughs> <laughs> this time. None of them won the overall championship, but out of our three, Karen came third, George Jr. second, and Pippa first. After weeks of preparation, trooper Obeng Frimpong is finally ready to appear before the Queen. How are you feeling as they always say in this situation? Nervous. Yes, very nervous. I have to tell you, it looks absolutely immaculate, more immaculate than it looked the other day. Are you pleased with what you've achieved? Um, yes, just to get through to the last eight is good enough. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Anything else is a bonus. Anything else. But... I do want to win, yeah. <laughs> it would be very nice. It would be very nice. Your Majesty, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, the Council of Calvary, first turn our trooper down to the final eight. For each of the final eight, it's been three weeks of spit and polish, 72 hours per boot, and two weeks for each horse's kit. Whose efforts will pay off to win the coveted cup? He's done it. I'd like to think that little bit of polishing I did for him tipped the balance. Very nerve-wracking. Glad it's over. I've lost some of my life now because of it, but no, it's more, more than worth it. More than worth it. Richard Cup! Oh. Ah! Obi expects to move from ceremonial to active service next year. George is because he's very excited about going to work. George's big moment has almost arrived. He's to be presented to the Queen tonight by the Mounties. It's a big moment for Bill Stewart, too. He'll be riding him. In the arena, final preparations are underway for the tattoo's biggest night. And we have the Lord Vesti, who is Her Majesty's Master of Horse. Well, what's best about tonight is because it is actually the Queen's night. And it is the final performance of the Royal Tattoo in the presence of Her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh. Hello, mate. How are you? Are you riding 
this horse? No, no, they are. They are. It's there, dude. That's it, man. It's mine. The musical ride has had a casting problem at this year's tattoo. The drum horse, Achilles, Major Spartacus's successor, is not quite up to a starring role. He's just not used to the lighting and all the sounds that go with it. We can't have that performing in front of the Queen. So we decided to get old Sparky over here, get him back, get the veteran out. If you know something's good, you use it. He's rock solid. He won't budge for nothing. Now release it. OK, happy days. It's a delight when the car arrives and she steps onto the carpet. And I think, wow, this is it now. The Queen, when she's here at Windsor, always has the most wonderful smile on her face. Welcome to the Windsor Castle Royal Tattoo. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention, um, I'm the compare for tonight's show. Your Majesty, accompanied by the pipers of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, please welcome George, ridden by Sergeant Major Bill Stewart. The mount is originated from the Northwest Mounted Police. Burmese's great nephew is looking a little shy. George will have to get used to the attention. He'll be ridden by Prince Charles next in Trooping the Colour. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand of round of applause for the Trinidad and Tobago Defence Force Steel Orchestra. It's amazing, I mean, apart from the Queen, I think I've got the best view, just sitting here on the corner of the stage. They look so much nicer now than they did when they were here. So I do know how heavy those lances are. In their final performance, all four horses behave themselves superbly. And Spartacus couldn't be happier to be back on the showground. over for another year. All that's left is for me to meet the Queen.